Welcome back to Messy Missy Creates. This is Melissa. Um, I had started the video and had to stop because I could not find either pair of my scissors. They're usually right here to my right. But in my last video, I had gotten my little basket of washi tape out. And they were sitting right on top of the washi tape basket, but I could not. It took me a minute to find them. So um, what I had told you, but you did not hear, was that you know, this is just a continuation from the last video that I made. I think that you'll see them in order, um, meaning there may be another video in between, but I don't think so. And it depends on how long the other one takes to upload. So the, um, because I might have to put my Inspired to Create video up in between. But anyway, this is a continuation from the last Journal With Me video where I had started on the 19th. I only did part of the day and then because the day isn't over and I went through the 18th, I got everything glued on. I have not done my written journaling. Um, this is the 17th and I made that little flip and I told you all about that. That's in the last video. And I was starting to glue down the 16th. I went to go cut this out and I could not find my scissors anywhere. So, how often do you lose your scissors? Usually when one pair is gone, that's one thing. But when both pair are gone, I knew I had to have stuck them in a very logical place. It wasn't really that logical. It just, yeah. <sighs> All righty. Now, we're regrouped. So, this is Friday the 16th. Um, I was talking to you about uh, catching up and journaling. Um, starting with, I like, when I'm, when I'm behind, I like to start with the most recent. The re most recent day that I have my stuff ready for. And it, even, maybe even the current day, ideally, but... Sometimes it takes me a little while to print out my papers, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out while I'm talking. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to get all my stuff together if we went somewhere or, you know, I, I print my pictures out in sets, so, you know, I'll wait until I have enough, a, a page full. So, I went ahead and did all that this morning, and I thought I can knock a couple days out, at least the gluing stuff in. Um, so this was Friday the 16th. My husband's brother came into town and because my husband, my husband's father, their father had a, no, he had come into town on Thursday evening. Um, my husband's father had a surgical procedure done today and, um, but he, you know, it was an outpatient procedure and he was feeling well enough. Um, we all went out to dinner that was not, I didn't think he would, but I think he was still pretty numb. So, and then I think he realized he probably overdid it a little bit. But, I mean, he didn't drive. You know, of course, we, you know, they, he, somebody drove him. Um, but, anyway, so, all right, onward and forward, or actually backwards. Onward and backwards. Now, I don't know. I got this from Chili's. Uh, we went to Chili's that night. And I got this. I tore this off my little basket. Or I had a little, you know, whatever. The little paper that comes in your basket. Um, I might use this. I may not. You know what? I could just glue it on. It's cute. I love the artwork in it. And if I want to stick something in it, I may come back and stick something in it, but I may not. Um, I don't have a lot for this day. Let me see what I'm missing. Let me look at my little cheat sheet. Okay, it's, um, this was a rainy day. I was telling you about in the last video. Oh, that's cute. Chips made daily. That's fresh. Both sides are cute. Welcome to Chili's. Oh, I almost would rather have this side, but that's all right. Because I actually had a burger. I'm just going to glue this down. It's 
clearly the back side. This is just what your silverware come in. So, I don't have a lot to put on here. It was a rainy day. I'd been telling you about all the storms we've been having, all the tornadoes. Um, I actually, between filming the last video and filming this one, I got a call. I was supposed to have a dentist appointment tomorrow. And they called and said they had to cancel because their building was damaged by one of the tornadoes uh, the other day. So it's been since Thursday we've had tornado warnings and really bad storms and flood watches and all that um, pretty much every day. So it happens here too, um, just like everywhere else. Or I don't know where everybody else lives and I don't know what kind of weather you have, but... I know everybody thinks of Florida as sunny, but, and it is a lot of the time, but this is starting into the tropical, you know, the hurricane weather and the heat and humidity. It makes for some really bad storms. Um, I had kind of a crafty day and I've been digging in this, so it's a mess. But I filmed a couple of videos that day. These I drew a while back. Um, do I have, I have some film. I need to reprint these. I'm sure I watched and filmed several. Um, let me see what this one is. These are smaller. I made a video. I made several videos today. But we'll stick with this one. I made some smaller, these these smaller. I, I like these better, I think. It just says watched, binged, filmed. Um, I know I watched. I was gonna say I watched while I filmed, but I probably did not do that because I typically talk in my videos. Um, let's see what else I can use. This is a printable from February and June. I love that. Um, let's see what else we have. These are the days where you can just kind of fill in stuff. This is February and June also. Um, that looks like some of the flowers in my yard. That does too. Oh, that definitely does. Hmm. Well, what do we want? Do we need a journal spot? Um, let me see what we have here. These are all just things that I've printed off. I'm printed off some smaller things for my calendar. I'd like to do that in this video. Uh, let's see. I can use this. I definitely worked in my journal today. Some of those I printed out. I still have not finished May Journal, y'all. Have not finished. This is from February and June also. This is you know, from her Patreon, her pre Patreon printables. And you know what? I'm going to save that out because I need that Friends one for another day. Um, all right. Well... This is, I've shown you this one several times. This is Recreations by Brooke. I love that one. That's my favorite one. It's because it's got all the garden goodies on it. And I'm going to take this out. This is one from February and June. All of the cute little craft supplies. I love using those in my journals. And this is where I made them smaller. And this is Brooke's. There's my lawnmower. I was looking for that lawnmower earlier in the last video. I knew I had a lawnmower printed. Okay. Let's see. Well, I don't need this on this page, but I'll go back and add it to the page that I was wanting it for. Because somehow, in the middle of all the storms, um, he, my husband was still able to, he managed to cut the grass. 
I think I'm just going to stick it right there and call it good. Because, you know, that was important, right? I mean, I needed that in my journal. How else would I know that the grass was cut? The fact that I don't have to wade in needy weeds, I guess, would be the first clue. Um, now where are we? We're not that far. Alright, so this is the 16th. I am going to use this. That was what I just cut out of um, February and June, one of her printables. And I don't remember which month they're from. When you join um, somebody's Patreon, you typically have access to everything that they've done. At least that's when I've done Patreon, that's how it's worked. Um, as long as you're a Patreon, you have access to their printables. Um, as long as whatever tier you're, you know, on allows them. I think I like that up there. I think I will use that up there. So, I hope that you're um, creating along with me. This is not really a, you know, most of these videos aren't a how-to. So, you don't have to, like, be totally engrossed watching um, a lot of times people, you know, when I'm watching a long journal with me video, a lot of times I just crapped along or I'm doing something in the kitchen and, you know, I'm watching as I'm watching, mostly listening as I'm doing whatever else I'm doing. Oh, I was going to use these. And let's see. Well, if I rounded one side, I have to round the other. I don't think I'm going to round this. Well, maybe I will. And I don't have to add these on. It's not like it's life or death. But I have them and I have room for them. So I might as well. Right? I was going to... Um, I'll put those up there and clean up my little mess here. Half of it ends up on the floor. I have a garbage can right there, but it, yeah, half of it ends up on the floor. All right, so I'm going to glue those here. And then I was going to, actually, I'm going to glue them down here. I made a couple videos this day, actually. I should have put binged um, as in binged video, not just binge, walk, binge watched. So I've got those there. And I was thinking about drawing in some rain. Uh, what do we think about that? I can journal here. I can make my lines. I have plenty of markers. do I have? I have this color. I only have like, you know, 40 marker or no, there's more than that. Um, do I do lines? Sure. Let's do some lines. It just adds another little bit of color. I could have journaled without the lines, but what fun is that? We have markers, we might as well have lines, right? And let's add another one up there just for just for fun. Alrighty. And I know I made two videos. I'll have to think about which ones I made. Oh, I know which ones I made. Um and then I think that was my magazine flip and my, my glue book. And then I'll probably journal and put something in here. Because I don't have much room over here anymore. Um, about, you know, uh, going to dinner and um, his brother coming into town. I always like to see him. And um, what did I have that I just saw that I thought I'd go back? And um, no, I'm not going to use one of those. Let's 
let's see what am i going to use i need to finish this i had drawn this my daughter i, I need another wheel right here um I was going to put this on today's because I talked to my daughter. She, you've heard me probably talk about this several times. Um, she converted an old school bus, painted it. It's now green. It has a name. It's called Caddy. Um, she has an Instagram account called Travel with Caddy. C-A-D-D-I-E as in like a golf caddy. And she said she called it that because it carries her golf clubs. And she loves golf. So she's traveling the country. And I talked to her this morning because we were making our plans and her flight arrangements. Because she's coming to see us. I am so excited. Um, won't be this week. It'll be next week. So I'm going to... Um, I'm sure I'll be filming up, you know, filming ahead of time so that I'm not doing it all while she's here, but, um, she's only going to be here a week, but I'm excited to see her. Yay. And I did this gray ink because it's so stormy. The wind picked up so bad a minute ago. I thought it was going to blow all my garden trellises over. All right. So this is what I've gotten done today. Um, for you, it'll be two days, but, or it'll seem like two days. So, this is the 15th. I am rocking and rolling. I keep thinking I'm so far behind, but I'm really not that behind. It just, when you start getting all these little bits that aren't, see like that, that's not glued in, it starts feeling like it, it all blurs together. And, um, you know, that way, that's why if I can just get start getting stuff glued in, then I feel like I'm not that behind. Um, so that's why I always start with that. I can always go back in and fill in the journaling, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, some days I have a lot to say. Some days I don't need to say anything because I have enough pictures. I know exactly what I did. I picked green beans. I can tell you that. Um, however, I think I picked more than green beans. Um, I don't know if I couldn't find my tomato picture or, so I think I picked cucumbers, tomatoes, green beans. Usually this time of the year, it's green beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, and zucchini every day or almost every day. So that's kind of a given. And I had an appointment came back home. I got ready. I went to, this is a picture of a classroom. Now it was not children, but it was a, it was class of adults. Um, let's see. And that I'll put that down here. Yeah. I've got a couple other pictures I think I'll put right here. Uh, this is, yeah. So this was day one of the tornado. I've gone backwards on those, but uh, I went that night and helped my friend. She does, um, like, training classes, like I said, for adults. And there was something she wanted me to help with. So I went with her, and it's, like, the next county over. But it's only, like, 20, 30 minutes, 20 minutes away, something like that. Not too big, not too, not too far. But you have to cross a pretty decent-sized bridge and a bay to get there. And when we left there, it was storming so bad. Um, you could barely see in front of you, you know, to drive home. Well, I wasn't driving. She was driving. And thunder, lightning, the whole nine yards. And we get fairly close to the house. It wasn't storming that morning. It was mainly right here. We get fairly close to the house. And that was, um, and then our phones went off. And there's a tornado in your area. That is never a fun text. I don't know why I just put that lid on there. That's never a fun text to get. Um, not just a warning. There is a tornado in your area. 
um, not a text either. It's an alert, you know, the alert system. I'm assuming everybody else has something similar. Um, actually, I'm going to put that like that. Yeah. And um, so all night long. I mean, it, it moved through and whatever. It was real close to the house. But then apparently another one came through on a, the other side of town. And I think I just told you this. I can't remember if I told you this, this video or the one that I had to stop and delete because I couldn't find my scissors. Um, that I had gotten a call canceling my dentist appointment tomorrow. If I just repeated myself, I apologize. Um, because I probably just did. But anyway, they had tornado damage. Um, like massive damage. Like they're not going to reopen that building. So who knows when, you know. Uh, fortunately, they already were in a situation where they were getting, um, let's see. Sorry, my reach. I know that's awkward. Um, oh. We went, well, this should have been here somewhere. They've changed the Chick-fil-A bags, and I think this is so cute. They have all this writing on them. Please help the herd. The herd needs you. But this was on the side. Um, whenever I go down this area, my husband gets, he'll go get Chick-fil-A for both of us. And it's kind of a lunch-dinner combo. Let me see if I can peel that up. Yeah, sorta. Yeah, sorta. Um, actually, I didn't really have to peel it up all the way. Let me re-glue. And then... I just want that like that. Okay. So I didn't have to pull up the whole thing. I just needed to pull up the side. Anyway, I thought this was cute. Code Moo on the side of the bag. I don't know what it means, but I mean, I don't know if you actually get anything or, you know, whatever, but I thought it was kind of cute. So I thought I'd use it in my journal because that's what we do. We use cute things in our journal. Okay, I'm going to put this down with my repositionable glue, which... If you forget to go back, it, it can be permanent. I only put it in the center. I need to clean it because it's rather sticky. But see, you can, you know, but it's not going to fall out of my journal in the meantime. Okay, so that brings me up current to those days. This day was, this was the Inspired to Create. I still have not put anything else on this page. I still don't think it's finished. But something will, you know, the mood will strike me. This is the 14th. This was flag day here. And I worked at the clinic. I volunteered. I went by down the street from the clinic, which is also on the same property as our church. Um, they built a new Dollar General. Now, it's not yellow. It's it's black and green are its colors because it's a Dollar General Market. I was thinking it said Super, but it says Dollar General Market. And it's the like the, the buggies. Hmm. Here in the South, they're buggies. Uh, the shopping carts are like a lime green, not the yellow typically that you see. So, I wanted to... You know, I had already put this on. This little strawberry is from February and June. This 14 flag day I found in a magazine. So I went ahead and used it for a number. Um, I was going to, yeah. I wanted to put this on here. I don't have that much else that needs to go on here. So um, I got just some top coat nail polish. That's what this packaging's from. But I actually got some cute scrapbook paper and things like that because, you know, I needed more. But it was a pretty big pack for like $5. And I got some really cute ribbon. 
um, that I'll show you sometime and when I can find it. Um, and I probably need a different color piece of paper than this. Why did I, pick? oh, I know why I chose green because as I just got through telling you, their colors are green. And, ooh, yeah, I'll have to go back and powder that. I put the glue too far up. There we go. Um, but I was really excited to go in here. I've been, you know, wanting to go in. And they finally opened and I finally had a chance to go in. Um, the reason why I'm excited, I mean, we have a Dollar General that's closer to us, but it's on a larger highway for one thing, and I haven't driven on the large highways. And it is, um, this one is an actual grocery store. So I thought that was neat. And it's, um, it's like a little mini supermarket. And it's, it's, I can walk in it. I don't have to use my wheelchair or one of the carts. Uh, it's got, you know, a little bit of a lot of stuff. And this is not going to work. I can do that right there. Yes, that'll work. I don't have a pocket or anything to put this in, but I'm sure I can find another piece of packaging from something I got there. I was not prepared to do this page, but... You know, if the, oh, that's so funny. I'm sitting here flipping it over. It says the same thing on both sides. <laughs> Duh. I already knew that from when I cut it out. Um, but I was really excited to find that because they had enough stuff, um, grocery store wise that unless I needed to do like a big, grocery shopping, you know, which I don't typically do those. My husband's been doing that, but this at least allows me to go in and get some of the basics that we need. And like I said, I could walk in it. I didn't have to use my chair. I didn't have to use a cart or whatever. I was able to, um, use my quad cane and, you know, combination of the quad cane and the buggy, the shopping cart. I know not everybody calls it a buggy. So I thought I'd write that. And let me see. Um, what else did I do that day? Like I said, I wasn't really prepared to do that day. But I'm sure I can pinch hit. Oh, I went to see my little lady friend. And I have another hospital that I printed out, um, and she was, let's see, here it is, oh, I printed out more tornado warnings, where did I forget to put those, anyway, um, I got really worried because she had not answered the phone since the day before, or I had been trying to call her since the day before to let her know I was coming, left messages, and, you know, usually when she's up, first thing she does is unlocks her back door, and then that way, we, you know, she's told us she's coming in, and so when I got there, the door was locked, the lights were off, and she was not answering, and I got very concerned, and, um, Anyway, she, um, well, I could put that there. That actually looks cute on here. Kind of gets lost on there, but I will, I'll put it right there. And then, um, she had, her neighbor finally came because I started calling, you know, anybody I knew who to call. And her neighbor came over and said that they had taken her to the hospital. So she's doing better now. She's back home. But I was relieved to know that she wasn't just in there, you know. Um, let's see, 
I know that I had planned on putting this one on here. Um, this one was close to our house. It did not hit our house, but it was very close to our house. Um, let me see. We had one a few years ago. It wasn't huge, but you know, they don't have to be huge to cause a lot of damage. It was actually one of the bigger ones that we've had here. Bigger as in widespread and wind speed. And um, it actually jumped over our house. We heard it. It woke us up in the middle of the night and that was scary. Um, I don't know if I'll put that there or not. Hopefully I won't need any more of these. But let's see. Oh, I can do that one. I was going to look to see if I had something that would work as a pocket. Um, I was also going to show you, bear with me, give me just a minute. Oh, here it is. It was not all that far away. I got these from Dollar General. They were either two or three dollars. They're made, they're American crafts. And I thought these were super cute. They're pro I don't know if they're good quality stamps or not. Some of them are so soft that when you push down on them, they blur. Um, they're silicone instead of um, poly, poly, polymer, whatever they call it. Anyway, um, polycarbon. I don't know what they're, the good ones are made out of whatever it is I can't say. And the, some of the other ones are made out of silicone, but it had two cute little borders. Love the rainbow and the little emoji faces and the sun and the heart. And all the, look at all the stars. Oh, I could have used that on there instead of drawing these stars. And then, you know, just some letters and numbers. Those are a good size too. Um, you know, I didn't go like whole hog on everything, but everyday papers. I did like, you know, just some of these basic, that one just says happy, happy, happy. I loved the books in this one. Um, stars. I might use that one. It's not cardstock, though. I loved this. And I'm skipping pages. I can feel them. But anyway, you get the idea. Oh, that's neat. I like those words. Okay. But I got that one. I think it was like $5. It's a 12 by 12. Um, like I said, it's just paper. It's not cardstock. So I was going to look to see if I happen to have something. Oh, I know what. Let me make an avalanche. And see if I can find something I can make a pocket out of. That, let me clarify it qualify that statement or clarify it, qualify it, whatever. Something that's going to match this red, white, and blue. Um, well, here's a red paint sample. I reckon that would work, huh? Well, looky there, right off the bat. Um, yep. Oh, I have these paper airplanes. I don't really need it to say anything. Definitely don't need it to say no regrets. But these match. Let's see what else I have. I don't need a huge one. Let's see if I have anything in these smaller ones that would match red, white, and blue. I've got too many in my hand. Okay, best friends. That's not matches, but I did not make best friends with Dollar General. How sweet is this? Um, well, I need them to kind of go wah, long ways. Oh. Use that for today. I talked to my daughter. 
Good times. Oh, good things come to those who wait. Well, I need it to go horizontal like this. Th these are definitely big enough. But, um, that one might work. Don't need it to say best friends. Make memories. Cheers. This one would work. Fondly. I could do it on that side. Records. Okay. Those are definitely like more pastel colors and that. No, 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 no. The sweet life. Nope. 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 But leave that one out. The ones that I like aren't going the right direction. Um, leave that one out. I gotta get some new glasses. Okay. One of these will work. And I have got to use some more of those. I don't really need one that big. Bright idea. This one would work. Actually, that is a little small, isn't it? Okay. This would work. This would work. And that one's going to be a little small. So, do we want the paper airplanes? I think that actually is a little bit bigger than the page. So, let's go with the first one. This is just, just big enough. I like this one. Let's use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, well, you could have done that initially because that's the first one you pulled out. I'm like, I know. But I had to make sure that there wasn't one I liked better. Don't we all know how that goes? Okay, and I'm going to push the ends together a little bit or the top part push it together. I don't want it too loose. Because I still want it to um, hold it in there, but I don't want it to be too tight either. Okay, so I can write about the little Dollar General. I can put... I guess I should have covered the whole thing. But no, that's alright. I like it the way it is. And I have... I had a little yellow piece of ribbon right here that would have worked perfectly on the tab, but I will find it, I'm sure, when I'm not looking for it. And I want it to leave some time to be able to, well, shoot. Remember when I said I needed new glasses? Um, let's see. Hold on, I just had a thought. Okay. I got over it. So, there was something I had up here. Oh, the little hospital. There it is. Um, and I'll probably write something in there about her being in the hospital and scaring me half to death. I talked to her today. She's doing much better. Much is better, much better. And I am so glad. Alrighty. So I've got this day. I'm pretty much done. I think I'm just lacking the writing. I think I'm going to do some lines and do some. Um, I got this out of a magazine. And um, it's not. I don't know what she's doing. She's listening to her cake sing or something like that. But. Meal, I put meal prep. This day, I made, I cooked a bunch of stuff. Um, I think I did a video on this one. Yeah, the 12th, I canned a bunch of stuff. And then the next day, I cooked. Um, so, I really... Oh, I was going to print out pictures. I made um, squash casserole and zucchini bread. So, I was going to put pictures. That, excuse me. I got the hiccups again. But I have not printed them out yet. 
So let me put pictures of Brett and casserole. All right. And that one is done except for the writing. There wasn't a whole lot going on that day. This was our anniversary. And let's see, how much time do I have left? You know what? I, this was the card. <laughs> you know, you're, um, I made pickles that day. It, the card doesn't say to my favorite weirdo, but it says something about being, you know, being your favorite weirdo or whatever. And I thought it was so cute. Funny. Cute, you know. Let's see. Uh, this was a little card I had made for him. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it says, my best adventures are the ones I have with you. And uh, I even put little sunglasses on him. The little bunny. And, um... Oh, things I've learned since I met you. That you're never weird when you're with your favorite weirdo. <laughs> That's, anyhow. So, I kind of want that glued on here. But I don't have the rest of the stuff for this page. And, um, I don't know if I really want to do this one just yet. Well, it is a Thursday. I do have, well, what do I have in here? Oh, I have all kinds of stuff in here. I can do that part. Oh, this was, um, February and June, they're, um, oh, that was the day we got caught in the hailstorm. That's, that's right. I forgot about that. Um, let's try... Hmm. We were in the parking spot. We had just parked. I had an appointment and then we were going to go to the mall. And I don't know where I want that or if I want that there. I'm just going to glue on the, I can glue the numbers on anyway. And, uh, come out of an appointment and he had actually taken the rest of the day off, which it was just a couple hours, you know. But it was a nice little, um, we went, we were going to go to the mall and he wanted to go to the food court. There's a little restaurant there that we like. And so we get parked and yeah, I made pickles that morning. And then this was, um, wait, we get parked and they, it started storming. So we were sitting there trying to wait it out. And then all of a sudden the hail starts hitting the truck and he's going to open it. The truck has a sunroof and it has one layer that opens to where you can still see like it's glass. He accidentally opened both and the hail started it, it, it rain and everything started coming in the truck. It was kind of funny. Not at the time, but it's funny now. Um, this was the card I made for him. I'll put that up there. Um, anyway, what I've started to say twice was this was mo uh, mood week, prompt week from February and June. And I've yet to actually do it. But I thought, okay, this time I'm really going to do it. But I started off so behind in my journal that I just didn't. But this one was for Thursday, um, the 8th, and it says, mood check. How are you feeling? Like, really, make sure you do at least one thing for yourself today. So, um, this was, I don't know that I'm going to do all that because, I, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to put this on first. Well, just do it. Why not? Just do it. It's just an envelope. 
you think we're, we're fixing to test this glue because we'll see if it holds that envelope. I was going to line the art glitter glue, you know, outline it with the art glitter glue, but we're going to see what this, this one does. Um, yeah, it's cute. It doesn't matter who's right most of the time, and it's you and me, you know. The only pr problem with putting the envelope on this side was it's hard to get that one in that way. Um, now I can put, I don't know why I was using that. It was in my stickers and it just wanted to be on this page. So we're going to let it be on that page. Because we were sitting in the parking spot, getting soaked. But we went and we got, we each got a couple of, um, after we ate, we went into the store and we got, I found, he found some shirts and I found some shirts and, um, I wonder if that will be a problem. Nope. Anyway, we both found some shirts and we just kind of hung out. We had a nice little leisurely dinner lunch dinner thing this was about three o'clock in the afternoon four three or well by the time we got in there it was about four and uh, we just sort of enjoyed the day so that was kind of my mood check for the day so we did um and we you know had fun just kind of sitting there hanging out even during the hailstorm and uh, I think his little emoji is so cute. Um, so that was that was what I did for that day. So uh, I had some clothing tags and whatnot, but I'm not even worried about that. Uh, we had already spent our anniversary weekend. Remember, we went away. I, although I never journaled it, so did it did it really happen? If you didn't journal it, did it really happen? Oh, this was, um, I did this page this morning before I turned on the video, or Wednesday was, um, Wednesday the 7th was dance party, put on your favorite song and have a little boogie, what song did you pick? And I put, um, I printed out the lyrics to this one, it's one my husband sings to me all the time, and sings how it was the day before our anniversary, or it was kind of our anniversary week, uh, it's... I Don't Want to Be a One Man Band by De, um, Old Dominion. I think that's who it is. Yeah. It says, Been Flying for Solo. Nobody Singing a Harmony. Up here, just me and my shadow. No bass, no guitar, no tambourine. And I Found You Like a Melody. You Were Singing in the Same Key as Me. We Had Them Dancing in the Streets. I Don't Want to Be a One Man Band. I Don't Want to Be a Rolling Stone Alone. Putting Miles on a Rundown Van. Maybe we can take our show on the road. I'll lay down the beat. You carry the tune. We'll get tattoos and we'll trash hotel rooms. Well, we won't do that. But anyway, it's sweet. So, um, that was the lyrics to that. And there should have been one for Friday. Oh, what is the worst thing you smelt recently? I don't know how to put that on there, but it was the dang garbage can. Holy cow. Um, that week when we came back from after being gone from the weekend, I don't know what was in there. I thought he took it out before we left, but I'll have to find a trash can or something to put on there or just write about it. And uh, Tuesday was... Document document your favorite YouTube channels that you love watching at the moment. I have not done that yet. Um, this was a little frog for the little froggy I rescued that day. Um, I have not done that yet. Um, this was the day that our refrigerator got delivered. I had a garden day. Oh, Monday, taste. She always does the census. 
what's a food that you hated as a kid but you love now and of course i you know broccoli is probably a classic one that everybody you know can say the same thing um i wanted to put this was our delivery thing i cannot find a staple remover so i'm going to use my scissors although i probably shouldn't have but i did um, I know y'all heard me talk about my refrigerator woes for a while. And this was the actual delivery. Um, hopefully, this is really slick paper. We're going to put this art glitter glue to the test. But I thought this would be fun. I could have done it as a flip, but I wanted to put... Mm, I should have scooted it that way a little bit, but that's okay. And I want to make sure to have, you know, you push the top together and it makes a little, the pocket buckle. Um, let's see. Let me put that in there. Well, let me try that again. There we go. I might have to add some washi to it. It's right here on that bend. And then, let's see. I just knocked everything on the floor. So these are some things I was gonna play with. I might do that in the next video though. Um, we had, my niece gave me these little flowers from my garden. They're like little pinwheel, but they're flowers. They're just from the Dollar Tree. But they were so cute, except we've been finding them all over the yard. So my husband picked them up Saturday when he was cutting grass. And of course I was like, let me have them, let me have them. I'm like, oh yeah, I can punch something out of that. or, But I'll probably do that in the next video. Um, but they just avalanched all on me. So see, I, look how far back I haven't done. Um, I have most everything. Um, this was our trip. This was our little picture. They did not have the tree up this time so we they just had the wall this is my little grand dog rory they were in oh i don't remember they went to utah and she's out in california somewhere i don't know exactly where they were but this was our little dining this was our official anniversary dinner um and this was the day that we left. Oh, this was my daughter on her, wherever she was that day, adventure. And some rocks that would be scary to me. Um, this was my brother's birthday, one of my brother's birthday. This was the day we left for our trip. And then back to the first. So this, I packed and did all the things, garden and all my usual stuff. I was going to start the iCAD. Um, I actually did do one of them. Mm, ask me if I know where it is. I don't know where it is. I did do one. Um, I do intend on doing them. I don't know. I had printed out the prompts. The first one actually stumped me right off the bat. And it was sapling. So I don't know if I will follow the prompts if I do any more. Um, they have like a, th a theme each week and I might could follow that, but I'll be doing good to, you know, I just want to decorate. I just want to play with index cards, right? Like that. I mean, I've been decorating an index card a day for how long now? Um, you know, all these when I do my backgrounds and so that's really what I want to do. I want to collage on some of them and make, turn them into pockets and so anyway, here we are. This is, um, the tornado did not blow my house down. I'm marking my safe from, myself safe from that tornado anyway. And that was that day, that was that day, and this is the day that we're on currently. So anyway, I'm gonna, um, I never did get to work on my little sticker sheet, my little collage
calendar here, so I will have to, I guess I'll have to work on that by myself. Um, my next video I need to do is the Inspired to Create video, and then I'm going to be making a journal after that, and um, it's for a friend, and it'll be a fun project. So stay tuned to that. That should be coming up towards the end of the week. And I'm hoping to have it finished by Thursday. So I'll get that video out or it might be two videos. I'm not sure. And then um, that'll be what's coming up this week. So we will see you. I, I appreciate you being here. I thank you for your likes, your comments, your all your support. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm trying to hit a milestone. Um, and everyone helps. And so I've already hit 500. I'm getting close to 600 and, you know, just aiming for that thousand, right? And, uh, anyway, so anything you can share or, or comment, all of that helps. And, um, I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.